Hey guys, Brian Slater. I wish I could be there with you today, but I got a sick child at home, so I'm gonna be doing this video tutorial via my computer at home. All right, what we got here is a, a Google form that I created for myself to use to input student assessment information. And what I was finding was that it would take quite a while for me to handwrite a lot of my comments. Uh, and I found that I could, if I could type the comments, I could not only give more information to the students about what I saw in their writing, but I could do it faster and it was legible. So it was kind of a win-win across the board. Uh, and all I had to do first and foremost was to set up a Google form for myself. Uh, and so it, it kind of looks like this. I had a, a area where I'd put student last name, student first name. I would select the prompt in which I was going to be assessing. Uh, each class grade, first, second, and fifth, had a different prompt. And so I would select the prompt, and then I would immediately start reading the, the time write. And as I read, I uh, would oftentimes find that I would need to make comments. So as you read, or as I, can, as I read the document, I'll go ahead and type my comments in this comments from Mr. Slater section. Then when I'm done reading, uh, I'll go down through the four accessible categories, uh, demands of the question, and uh, students are assessed on a one through seven scale on the IB rubric, and this, all this language was taken straight off of the International Baccalaureate hist History rubric uh, for my class, and so I would select where I thought they fell on each of these four categories, and then when I was done, I'd enter their score out of 20 and their score out of seven, and then what that did is it spit all that information into a Google spreadsheet. Um, this Google spreadsheet, um, just for the record, contains information from the students of the class of 2013. So they're all graduated at this point. But as you can see here, it's not really usable when it's in this format. And the first time that I did this, I thought, man, what am I going to do? So I, I went through and I printed out the spreadsheet and I just cut out the each individual student report. But what was tough about that is it didn't have the column headings for each kid. So kind of thought man there's got to be a better way to do this and then I remembered an old trick that I learned a couple years ago on Microsoft Word where you could take spreadsheet information usually from Microsoft Excel and auto feed it into your Word documents for things like Christmas letters and whatnot I thought man that might be a really effective tool so what I did what, what you're gonna want to do to make this happen is you're gonna obviously want to create a form for you to fill out to input student data uh, and then once you've done that and you have your spreadsheet all filled out, you're going to go up to File and you're going to click Download As and you're going to go ahead and save that as a Microsoft Excel file. What this will do in Google Chrome is it'll save the file in the bottom left hand corner. Go ahead and just click that. It'll open that in Microsoft Excel and what you'll get is another very unusable document here. Uh, all we're going to do at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the start button up in the left corner there and hit save. I'm going to save it as a document. I want to put it on my desktop so it's very easy to locate. So go ahead and click desktop, Slater's time right feedback form. I'm going to hit save. And at this point, I am done with the Excel document. So I'm going to go ahead and close that down. I'm not going to use that again. Then what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up a Microsoft Word document. And what this is going to do, this Word document is going to be where all of that Excel data gets spit out into in a very user-friendly format. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and type in, I'm going to make this look pretty rudimentary, um, put student name here. This is where, uh, where the student name will be located. Uh, I'm going to just get right to the chase. I'm going to have their score out of seven. Oops. And then their score out of 20 right off the bat there. And then below that, I'm going to put comments from the teacher. And then uh, that'll obviously take up a little bit of room. And then what I want to do is have the assessed content slash rubric information. And what I'll do below that is I'll have my four categories. So... Uh, we'll have the demands of the prompts. We're going to have our uh, historical context. Uh, we're going to have our structure of the essay and our historical content slash accuracy. And then that's pretty much all I want to include in this. 
so one thing you can do is you're gonna want to make this look kind of pretty uh, so go ahead and put some borders around these things uh, just click up here in the border area there of word uh, and we'll go ahead and put another border here and then put a border here also want to make this stuff look good but we'll, we'll do that stuff later okay so we have a basic generic looking report here and the next thing that we need to do is we need to tell Microsoft Word where it should pull the data from. And uh, we know that we created that Excel spreadsheet and put it on the desktop. So uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go up to where it says mailings. And I wanna click on start mail merge. And then go down to where it says step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. You'll click there. And then the next trick is just to keep hitting the next button down here until Microsoft Word asks you to locate the data that you'd like to import into this document. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the desktop because that's where my Microsoft Word document is located. And then I'm gonna go find right down here the Slater's Time Right Feedback Form. I'm sorry, I meant to say Microsoft Excel document. So uh, I'm gonna find the Excel document. I'm gonna go ahead and click Open. And then it asks me uh, which table of that spreadsheet I'd like to open. So just click OK. Right here, what I can do is instead of sorting it by student last name, I can sort it uh, by the prompt. Uh, and so I can sort this by first period, second period, third period. That way they're easy to hand out when I go to print those out. So now it's, it's sorted by student uh, class period. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now all I have to do is go up right to where it says insert merge field. And again, we're still in the mailings category here. I'm gonna click insert merge field and I'm gonna go ahead and have last name and I'm gonna insert first name. Now you'll notice here that when I click insert merge field, it's it's got all the columns that are found in my Google spreadsheet here. So Cold War prompt, demand of the question, knowledge, context, structure, etc. So all I'm doing is telling Microsoft Word where, from which column to pull this information. So score out of seven, final score out of seven. Score out of 20, score out of 20. And again, you probably wanna make these bold so they stand out, just, just the uh, score out of 20 part, not this other area here. You really want these to pop out here. So we'll go ahead and insert comments from the teacher. Uh, and then demands of the prompt. I'm going to put some spaces here so that kids can see the see uh, the different categories. They don't run together. Demands of the prompt. Uh, go ahead and insert merge field. Demand of the question. Historical context. Structure of the essay. And then historical knowledge. Okay. So uh, go ahead and just again make this kind of look nice here oops I'm just hitting control B to make these bold all right and with these borders you can make these all squiggly if you're Miss Labor uh, you definitely like to make this look good um, I don't really care I'm not really that uh, I don't really want to make it look that good but I'm pretty straightforward kind of guy all right so now we're ready to roll uh, student name you might even label up at the top here just uh, Cold War timed right feedback report now I'm ready to roll so I'm gonna just click on this finish and merge button up here and what this is gonna do is gonna give me some options I want to click edit individual documents I want to merge all records all 84 students and now what we get is a lot of pages on a Microsoft Word document. We got our student name, last name first, uh, the score out of seven, score out of 20, all of my comment, comments that I gave them. And you'll see that on each page is a student report all the way down to page 84. Now what's great about this is when I give the students back their time rights, there's none of my writing on it, so my bias doesn't affect them. So what I can do is I can take them to a computer lab, uh, give them a tiny URL for this Google document, 
and uh, and then they can go ahead and assess themselves without me needing, uh, without any of my information affecting what they believe about their performance. So that's kind of cool. Uh, another thing that I did last year is I took all of my 12th graders down to a computer lab and I had them assess my 9th graders writing. And so you'll see here, this is my 9th graders spreadsheet. And uh, what was cool is each student got three or four 12th grade assessors. You see, uh, when you look on the left here, Zach Brooks, Zach Brooks, Zach Brooks, Jack Belcher, all the, I mean, Jack got four different 12th graders feedback. And so you can see here, I had the 12th graders put their name down, who scored it, scored by Brenna Alsop, uh, Sarah Carter, uh, Fordyce, Muirhead, all these guys assessed the students. And, and so not only did the ninth graders get my feedback, but they also got several different 12th graders input as well. Um, so this tool is really powerful. Uh, not only do the students get a lot of information, a lot of feedback for what how I thought they did, um, they can read it, and uh, I also have a permanent record now, so I can give them back their time right, I can give them these reports, and I still have a copy of the reports for myself, uh, and, and that's good for TPEP evidence and such. So, so there you have it, uh, pretty straightforward tutorial. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to get a hold of me. I'd love to help you make this work for you. Uh, I'm sure there's some way that we can get this to work for you, and uh, again, this is just designed to help you work smarter, not harder. I, I would guess that uh, in, in this way of assessing, it probably took about a minute and a half to two minutes off of each of the time rights that I assessed. And it also probably doubled the amount of information I was able to give the students. So with 84 time rights, and, you know, about five minutes a piece, six, six minutes to assess each, uh, that, that took quite a bit off of the process. And so very helpful. Again, if you have any questions, please get a hold of me and I can help you out with this. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care.